Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to go over how you can create really great and compelling color themes in your reports. Now, this is honestly where I probably see most reports falling down. There's a couple of other things like you know the model is usually a bit uh, bit too complex, and and there's some DAX calculations that can be simplified. But if I was to say the the probably number one thing in terms of where I feel reports get let down a bit, it's in the visualization, it's in the colors, it's in representing your insights in a really compelling way. Now I'm going to show you really the tricks that I use to create really um, coherent color schemes or color themes for your reports. Now the standard out of the box colors from um, Power BI are just not good enough. Okay, So if you want to create great reports, great looking reports, you need to dive a little bit deeper, spend a bit more time around how uh, about finding a good theme, a coherent theme, and then implementing it in your models. <clears throat> now, uh, all I would say is historically this was much more difficult uh, than it is now, um, and I'm sure it will be improved in the future as well because there's still a little bit to it, but at the moment this is a really good way to do it. Now, I'm just um, currently we're just looking at a report. <coughs> this is just to showcase some of the colors that I, I am using in, in, in a particular report and how I use them all, all in combination. This report is what I will be running through uh, during the next Enterprise DNA Learning summit so this is going to be in May 2018 and uh, we're going to go through a huge amount over six different uh, workshop sessions over three days uh, and it's going to be a whole lot of analytical insights around how you can create really compelling Power BI reports and now a big part of that is visualization obviously right and so you'll see here that I've got this uh, same theme throughout my entire report and I try and um, um, mesh good colors together that work together right now some of you might think, well, it's quite hard to actually find colors that work in well together. You know, where, where, where do you go and work this stuff out? Well, I'm gonna show you, okay? And that's the key part of this tutorial. Well, that's the main thing about this tutorial that I want to showcase. Now, first of all, I do wanna show you a couple other things though first. So you see here that if you wanna go and get some inspiration on colors, then jump across to the, the Enterprise DNA Power BI Showcase page. So this is where I update, uh, you know, in, in a lot of cases I update a lot of uh, the Power BI reports that the Enterprise DNA is putting out. And there will, be, there, will, there will never be an enterprise DNA showcase that comes out that doesn't have good colors, that's for sure. Um, you know, because it's so, so essential to, to create a good report. So this is where you can get inspiration on color themes, you know, how you can set up your reports. You can even use the live demos. And if you actually want to download all of these, all you have to do is upgrade to enterprise DNA uh, membership and you can access every single one of these. So certainly something to consider if, uh, if you really want to master Power BI and uh, visualizations and analytical techniques. But for inspiration, certainly head over to here. Now, how do you actually create, or how, how do I, in most cases, create these color palettes? Okay, so here, here's a little secret. Here's a little secret. There's two key websites to do this, okay? Two key websites. The very first website is this one called www.palettefx.com, okay? And what is seriously, seriously cool about this website is it generates palettes of colors for you automatically. But it can do it based on a picture or based on a image that you already have. So say, for instance, you have some sort of um, you know, company website or, or company theme. All you have to do is place it into this image box and it actually will come up with a palette which suits that exact, um, that exact picture. And, 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 this is just, and this is just to get a starting point, right? You can, you, you can actually get an entire... Um, palette here but you can also use it as a starting point before you actually move on to the other website but I do want to show you uh, that uh, one thing I do want to show you one thing I'm going to show you how it actually works I'm just going to try and find an image here I'm going to find an image that I've used so check out uh, check out this image here so this is actually the image this is the image that I based my current this current report off so this was the starting point of it, of it. It doesn't exactly look like it because I, pick, I picked and choose which, which particular colors I wanted, but you can see that there's some colors inside of this image that I utilized in, in the particular um, resource download here. Now, as an aside, if you, you want to be able to download this resource, all you have to do is register for the Learning Summit. So not only will you be able to learn all about great, compelling um, use of Power BI and how to how to create good reports and models, but you also will be able to download this resource, see under the hood, see how I've developed the visualizations. So I'll leave a link below to uh, the registration page for that um, in the description. So so certainly check that out. Now all I have to do is drag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this 
image into, uh, oh, I've just gone to the wrong page. So I'm going to actually go and find it. So I'm going to go and find it as part of my Learning Summit folder. And you'll see it here and I'll double click and see, see how quick that is. So all I've done is I've added this image and now I've got this entire palette with which I can click through and I can go and get the, or any color, um, or any combination of colors and put them into my color theme. Now the other thing that you'll get if you come to the Learning Summit is you will actually get uh, in the resources pack that gets sent out, you will also get a text file which is how your themes need to currently be set up. So all of the data points, etc., how they currently need to be set up to then actually implement them inside of your Power BI reports. So you see here you've got switch theme and you need to import theme. Well, this is exactly the format that they need to be in um, to be able to uh, to be able to implement them. And so all you have to do is copy and paste, and this is what I do, is I go and find my colors, and you'll see here that we need the hex value. So this is the one I'm highlighting now. So we need the hex value. And so all you need to do is click through, and then you can copy the hex value, and then you put it into this format. And then you do have to tune it into a JSON file, um, which is all it is is just saving it with a dot JSON at the end, and then importing it post that. <coughs> So basically that's the that's a core of what, what I do for, for color themes. I always like to start with a sort of random image and then I um, can generate, you know, and, and go and select my colors. If I don't feel like I have my entire palette made up of um, all of these colors, because sometimes what happens if, if you put an image in here with less colors, then not as many actually flow through. So what you can do is you can come to this other really great website called coolers.co, okay? And what you can do is free, totally free. Um, so, so, so is this one here. So no, um, there's no, there's no charge to use it. And what you can do is you can actually generate a palette. But then, where do you actually start? And and how do you make sure that you actually get the same palette or or generate a palette of a similar um, colors that work together? Is that you come through here and you go and copy these hex values into these um, areas down the bottom here. And then you just um, click through, click through, click through, click through until you actually achieve the palette that you want. Uh, and then you can then just copy and paste into exactly this same uh, format. And then you're away. And that's how you do it. So just as an example, if I wanted to, say, grab this particular color, I would copy it, paste it into here. And then I would grab, say, let's grab another one. Let's grab a sort of light greenish color copy that one and then what you need to do is you need to make sure that you lock it you lock it first lock it down and then I'm going to push the space bar and you'll see that these three colors are now creating part of our palette and generating different colors that we can utilize in our reports and that's it and that's it and then you get it into your uh, model and then uh, now we have this coherent um, color scheme that we can that we can utilize uh, and then implement inside of our reports so pretty pretty great stuff right and, that, and, that, and that's it that's how you implement great colors inside of power bi now if you want to get hold of all of these resources all you got to do is is uh, register and, and come to the learning summit i mean you're going to learn so much about power bi so i really want to get you there um, and obviously you get hold of um, the great resources from enterprise dna um, and also you know, great learning opportunity uh, from enterprise dna as well Okay, all the best. Hope you like this one. Certainly, uh, if you've benefited from the video, I really appreciate a like. Um, you always, always, always uh, you know, those likes you know, really, really are encouraging and enable me to keep creating um, content for you guys. So um, certainly throw us a like if you liked it, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA. So much content coming out on Power BI in the future. So I uh, look forward to getting that out to you. Okay, all the best. Cheers.